Hey guys and welcome to the last video in this series of videos on all the classes in Battlefield 2042. We've gone through pretty much every single class in the game and broken down each specialist and their uses. For the full list of videos, check out the playlist card at the end of the video. We've left the assault class till the end and this is the class best suited for having fun and aggressive play. With an assault specialist, do not shy away from combat and getting stuck into the opposition's faces. So let's dive straight into this one. The assault class is primarily used for flanking, getting kills, sabotaging vehicles and in general just being a nuisance. By playing on the front line and behind enemy lines, your role is to disrupt the opposition as much as you can, whether it be capturing points on conquest or starting the push to capture one in breakthrough. If you're on the attacking team in breakthrough for example, then it's your duty to charge ahead and find an opening for your team. And for that this class features some great specialists such as McKay, Sundance and someone tell me what the hell is Dozer doing in this class please. The assault class's trait includes carrying 3 extra mags of ammo by using assault rifles due to its weapon proficiency boost. It is also the only class to be able to equip armor which provides an additional 20 health and you can carry up to 2 of these. The class gadget is the med pen which allows you to heal once if you take damage but you can resupply this from an ammo crate. And other gadgets include the C5, the smoke grenade launcher and a claymore. Throwables include the concussion nades, the fragmentation grenade, incendiary grenade and the smoke grenade as well as the throwing knives. Now let's move on to each specialist starting with big man Dozer. His specialist trait is blast resistance, effectively reducing explosive damage. He used to be OP when the game first launched where he was able to block vehicle projectiles but since then has been nerfed to be more manageable and only block small firearm projectiles. Whenever you see him charging at you, make sure to run the other way or alternatively shoot at his feet because that will be exposed when he is not crouched or when he is running. If you let him get too close and bash you with his blast shield, it will instantly kill you. While crouched, he moves slower than if he was standing up, but that makes him almost invulnerable from the front. You can however throw incendiary nades at him to burn him. Throwing C5s over him will also help to kill Dozer. If you choose to play Dozer, make sure to cover your back because that will be exposed and vulnerable to get being attacked. Dozer is particularly useful when playing as a squad or team to breach points because he can cause panic when you throw some smoke to cover his entry because players tend to panic when they see him running at them. Next up we have our most recent addition to the game. Zane. Zane's specialist trait is Perseverance. If you've played the likes of Call of Duty games before, you'll recognize this as Quick Fix, meaning killing an enemy restores your health. Combined with the med pen, you can outlive other players for a long time depending on your playstyle. His gadget is the Airburst Launcher, and I'm not calling it by its full name because that's a tongue twister. The Airburst Launcher fires projectile shells that explode in the air, dealing damage to anyone in the vicinity or behind cover. To use this, aim in and you'll see two bars on the right of your screen. If they turn orange, that means you will not be dealing any damage. The left bar indicates your current range and the right is the desired range or the range of where you are aiming. Press the D-pad down on your controller to match these in order to fire at the desired location or target. Zane is useful for making headway in rooms or choke points where people usually sit there or to prevent pushes from infantry as well. But bear in mind, if someone is playing Irish and using the APS Sentinel, then they can block all of his incoming projectiles and effectively nullify him. His perseverance trait, as mentioned previously, allows him to stay alive engaging in gunfights. And if you kill the opponent, you will heal to full health should you take damage. So you can see why he is an effective assault specialist and a favorite amongst many. Our penultimate specialist is Sundance probably the most fun specialist in the game. Her unique trait is the wingsuit. It allows her to traverse great distances by flying from point to point and allowing for neat flanking situations. Some tips for flying are, if you pitch up she will reduce speed, pitch down you will fly faster and if you combine these two maneuvers you can almost do a dolphin dive maneuver and you can typically cover longer distances that way. Also, if you cut the wingsuit too late, you will fly off your intended landing position, so make sure to slow down or to cut it earlier. 
Her gadgets include two grenades, the scatter and the one that locks onto vehicles. There used to be a third, but that was removed because switching between three just made it too cumbersome. To switch, use whatever button you use to equip the smart nades. The scatter is useful for removing groups of infantry in one place, as upon impact it will scatter into several nades, hence the name, and kill or deal damage to anyone in its area of effect. The lock on nade will lock onto the nearest vehicle, and although it deals minimal damage, I think it's around 5 damage, but if you see a tank or chopper at low health, it's the perfect time to use it to destroy them. Sundance is extremely useful for flanking behind enemy lines and taking out unsuspecting players. And finally, we have our final specialist, and I was torn between who my favourite is between Sundance and this guy, but given that I've played him the most and have the mastery badge, McKay has to be my personal favourite. His straight nimble makes him hard to hit when strafing because of his strafe speed. His grapple hook allows you to get into vertical positions unlike any other specialist. To equip the hook, you'll see a symbol that changes from square to the diamond shape, and that means you can successfully grapple onto an object. This allows him to get above enemies and get kills from vertical positions. You can also get behind enemy lines by grappling over them. Sometimes he makes me do crazy like grappling onto a tank only to realize it was a bad mistake. What makes McKay so useful is that he's able to reposition quickly from the ground to a height advantage. Sundance can potentially do this too, but needs to jump off something in order to fly away and above. And there are some insane positions that you can get to on maps such as Kaleidoscope and Stranded. So some tips for playing their salt class are, they provide a unique flanking angles and positions for your squad so they can spawn on you. If playing Breakthrough, and the path to the objective is blocked, try to find alternative routes using McKay or Sundance, or try to clear a room or choke point using Zane or Dozer, as you can usually bulldoze a path using Dozer's blast shield and smoke nades, or Zane's airburst can be used to move players away from entrances. Don't be afraid to get stuck in by getting close to the enemy team and engaging them. People will be relying on you to get the kills. If you're a beginner, try using the M5A3, AC42 and the AM40. And once you get better at aiming and recoil control, use the SFAR and the AK24 for better damage output. Take out vehicles at every opportunity or deal damage to make it annoying for them to push. Essentially, just be a nuisance. Some of the best assault players I've seen are hard to kill and are just plain annoying, which makes them great at the game. So with that, that's the end of this one, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video and the series looking into all the specialists and their classes. If you have, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more Battlefield 2042 content and check out the other class guides if you want to play those too. And I'll see you next time for Season 4. Thank you for watching.